farmhands, Farmer Reef here. Welcome back to the Phoenix 700. So in this episode, we're going to talk about the LEDs replacing over it and the rail system. So I ended up choosing to go with the, the Hydra 52 HDs. I've really been uh, liking these. I ended up, I run uh, three of the, the 26 HDs in my lab and my other show. Getting a lot of great coral growth. Um, they're very easy to control. You can control them with uh, your, your, your Apple Watch, uh, your tablet, uh, your phone, pretty much everything. And your home computer it works great. You get a lot of great uh, different features. So that's what I say. So I went with the nice black uh, Hydra 52 HDs. They're pretty amazing. Uh, and I end up going with uh, with the EXT AI rail system. Um, these ones here, this piece that hangs off the top of the rail. These ones are 18 inches. Uh, my tank is 36 inches uh, deep. So I end up had to go with the extra longer rail. And then I end up. Uh, this is the mounting that goes on the back just like this and then this piece goes on the top and then you mount your led but this is a it's a beautiful aluminum it's solid it's very strong it's uh i can't wait to show you guys what this is going to look like all set up um so this is how it comes it comes in the packaging it's a very beautiful solid package it's a big cardboard tube with a plastic end on it and it comes with that see you guys i'll bring you guys up close you guys can check that out it's a beautiful uh, beautiful uh nice painted aluminum and then it comes with the you get the EXT you go in my box here but here it comes with a beautiful little box and this is the EXT mounting system so you mount this piece on the back of your tank just like this you screw that in and then the the rail slides right into place and then you tighten it up to the what height you want and it works out great like that guys so today we're gonna end up mounting these all up so it's perfect guys It's very low uh, watch consumption so it's gonna be a lot easier on your hydro bill um, so we're, you know, we're all switching over to the LEDs now and like when we used to run uh, the metal halides, 250 watt metal halides, I used to run them on my 220, but I had to make the switch um, here in Ontario. Hydro rates are very expensive, so we're always looking for something more efficient and just by using these LEDs to save a lot of money on my hydro bill, that means I can buy a lot of other uh, different gear for my tank. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit more information about this. And then we're going to go ahead, we're going to end up mounting these up. So I end up contacting uh, AI uh, to see what the dimensions I should put on. So these will do a two by two uh, square footage of lighting up that area. So I got five of them. So I end up, uh, I divided it the length of my tank and I'm going to place them. So it gives a two foot square footage around it. And that's how we're going to place these up. So the 52 HDs, you got 52 LEDs right into the gate. So they're only drawing about 135 watts. That's perfect. So. Here in Ontario, such high uh, hydro rates, this is what we need. Uh, a lot of the time when I used to run uh, 250 watt metal halides over my 220, and then I switched out to LEDs to save money, and then you can buy other gear for your tank, and that's what it's all about this day and age. And they're very reliable, and they got a great customer service as well. But the other thing is too, I've um, always been a big fan of uh, David Saxby. I've followed him for uh, many years, and you know, I try to use a lot of the same equipment he's using. It's very reliable and he's had such great success so that I try to do the same thing on all my builds that I'm doing to try to almost like mimic his tank and uh, have, hopefully have a beautiful tank just like him. So if you guys should check out his tank because he runs a lot of all these same products, you know, like our reef roids, these corals, do all that same thing. So you can't beat that and you know, I've used them for many years. So it's very reliable gear guys. Um, so let's go ahead, let's uh, mount these all up. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna assemble this stuff and then we're gonna get everything uh, mounted up. You guys see here, this is the mounting brackets. This is the EXT48 bracket and this is everything that comes in this little kit. So it comes with all the bolts and the nuts you need. And this is, this is the, uh, the nice uh, aluminum, painted aluminum. It's, look at that, it's solid. That's great. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna open your little bag, just like this. So you get up, you have uh, two bolts and two nuts. So what you need to do is you need to feed the bolts through here, put the nuts on the back. So this is how we're gonna tighten our rails on. So we just put these on the back, just like that. You guys can see here, we put the nut so it's nice and loose. So we can slide it through the groove. I'll show you here. So you can see on the on the rail here, so there's a nice groove. So that so what's gonna happen is the nut's gonna slide in here and then it's gonna tighten against that bracket. So let's get the other nut and bolt on the other one. We'll do one together. All right, so we got both nuts on both inside, you guys can see there. So what we're gonna do now, I'll show you, is so you take, 
So you take the rail, you guys can see how it's rounded on one side. So you just match it up like a puzzle. So you're just gonna slide that in. So you just gotta line up both uh, nuts. So see how it slides through guys, just like that. So this is how you're gonna do it. You're just gonna take uh, your Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna fill that in and that'll tighten it. So it's just like that. So it's perfect. And then on the reverse, this is the nice finished side that you guys are gonna see. So I'm just gonna do up the rest of uh, all five of these brackets and then we're gonna start mounting everything. All right, guys. I just wanna bring you guys up close. So you guys can see the Hydra 52s here. So what comes in the box with these is see that I got beautiful black, my favorite color. And it comes right here. Because it comes with the instructions as well. You guys can see. And then look at that. Isn't that beautiful? We got the, the vent fan on the top. And then we have all the pucks with all the 52 HDs. And then we have the power supply right here. And uh, this is the light so you can uh, sync them up. And what else comes in here, just place that off to the side. So you got uh, your power supply and you got two uh, mounting screws. So that's, that's all that comes in those boxes. So that's them guys. So a little information, these come with the, uh, the 80 uh, degree optics. So you have your cool whites, your royal blues, your violets, UV and deep red and uh, greens. So you end up, you have, uh, these are all Cree LEDs. So there's lots of power, guys. All right, so let's mount uh, the EXT bracket. So I took it and I divided it. So I, I have all my centers where I'm gonna place all my five. Cause so this is how I got it all marked out, guys. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna grab, we're gonna grab some screws. Grab some screws uh, in a drill. And we're just end up, we're gonna put our, you guys can see here, we're just gonna put our bracket center. Just like that, and then we're just gonna screw it right on. Just like that, so it's solid. Now I'm gonna keep it flush, keep it flush here with my tank because I know it's level. So it takes four screws. Just really drawing them in. Just like that. So I'll bring you guys up close, we'll do one together. Okay, so we got our uh, EXT bracket. So we're just gonna center that right up. And then we're gonna put our, just we're gonna screw it in here. Just like that, just keep it level with the plywood. I need to get a new bit. It is not cooperating. To make sure it's level with the plywood. For the next one. So I've just taken four. This is the same rails I end up uh, using in my lab as well. It's a great easy system to, to support your LEDs. Just like that. And that puppy is solid. So I'll just show you. So you see how it's rounded out? So you end up you just take your rail, it's the same shape, and you're just gonna place this right in here. You just have to work it a little bit. So you guys can see how you can go up and down. Just like that, you can adjust it. So you end up, you're just, so I wanna go full height with mine, make sure it's level on the bottom. Level. And then you just take your screwdriver and you just tighten those up. Just like that, it's solid. Like hear that it's not going anywhere nice beautiful black my favorite color like it's solid and just make sure it's nice and tight just like that level on the bottom so I'm gonna keep them all and then we can keep moving on so there we go we got our first one all mounted solid beautiful painted it's, I love this system it works so well and it's, it, I like that it's such it's so durable so let's end up moving on we'll end up getting the rest of them uh, all mounted up
All right, guys, so I end up, I got them all mounted, as you guys can see. So what I like to do now is, so I'll take a level, right? Because you want to make sure all these rails are perfectly level. So you guys can see, see the bubble. So I just have to adjust it a little bit. So by doing that, all you have to do is loosen those uh, screws down there. You can move them either way because you want to make sure everything's level. And then what I like to do after, take your level and just take your level and put it on the top. So we make sure they all match up. So you guys can see the bubble in the middle. So that's perfectly level. And then just run it across a couple more. Make sure everything's level, plumb, and square. All right, same thing, level. So I'm just gonna make sure to do that across to all of them. All right, so we're all mounted up. So now I'm just gonna slide my stand back to its final uh, resting spot, as you could say. And then I'll show you how to mount the top rails next. All right, guys, so I'm on top of the tank stand. Here's the rails. So when up here, I end up got the 18 inch rail. You guys can see right here, there's little uh, little bolts. You just end up, that's how you tighten it on. So at the top of the rail, there's a insert. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take this and you're gonna place it on the top of this rail. Just like that. So make sure it's flush in the back and then you just tighten it up. It comes with an Allen key. So you just tighten it up, square it right up, just like that. So that's how it could do all five of them. So and then you end up taking your 52 and there's uh, grooves uh, built right into the, the heat sink here. And when you put these up, make sure you put them all the same side. So make sure if you wanna put your power supply on the left or the right, I'm gonna go uh, keep them to the, to the left so you don't see it. And then you're gonna slide it through here on these grooves. Everything's built to fit perfectly. So just like that, you slide that in, just like that. And then you just tighten, there's a screw here, you tighten in the top as well, just like that. So you guys can see it's perfectly, it's beautifully, it's nice and solid. And uh, it's perfectly in the middle of the tank. So I end up, I'll have to do all five of these the same. And then you end up just running your power supply in the back and there's a groove. You can hide the power supply uh, cable. So I'll bring you guys up close so you guys can check this out. So this is where I want to show you. So this right here, if I show you the top, see the top of this one has uh, the notches in it. So that's where you end up sliding uh, the top of the rail in right there. And then you end up, you tighten just with the, the Allen key. It comes with an Allen key. You just put it here and you just tighten it up just like that. And then on the top of uh, 52, I just have to tighten this one down, but that's how you tighten it, just fasten it nice and solid, just like that. All right, gang, so we got all five of these 52s on top of this main display. I'm hoping if everything works out right, I'm gonna try and be going rimless tank. If they look beautiful, I'll be able to see these open up concept to the 52 HDs. So it's a great system, guys, with all the rails. It ends up going together perfectly. They really designed everything to fit well together. So this is this week's episode, guys. So next, we'll end up, uh, we're gonna do a, my new fish room. We gotta do all the stands, build everything. Um, to get the glass, we got to build the tank, we got to drill the tank, we got to plumb the tank. So it's going to be a long process, but end up everything hopefully will turn out perfectly and we all learn a little something. So thanks guys. So if you guys want to tune in the same time, same place next week, please subscribe and hit the like button.